Hello, everyone. Today, I, after a long fight with my soul, I came out here in the cold garage and started construction of fuselage bulkhead 3.0. This represents the top of the fuselage. Pretty neat. The flight engineer panel sits six inches from the face of bulkhead three to the face of this panel. Gives me a really good idea of the, of the direction in which I'm heading. This will allow me to study existing pictures of B-36s so I can see exactly where that flight engineer panel needs to go now that the bulkhead's up. Let's go over here and have a look at the other side. So one of the reasons I build so fast is I don't measure rivets. I don't. Um, on external surfaces for beautification purposes they're every one inch but when you get into surfaces that you won't see like this bulkhead i just take the drill and i just kind of have at it close to every one inch convair used they used a lot more rivets they were exactly one inch apart and every half inch there was one down here so i mean but i don't want to spend a year to build this bulkhead that's all there is to it. And it would probably take a year using the exceptional craftsmanship methods that guys that are restoring real aircraft, quote unquote. I'm not gonna go as far to say this, this is a real airplane, but it's about as close as you can get in a, a garage with a very small budget that I have. I want to mount the acquire and mount the big mast antenna that goes back here. I'm, I don't know how far I'm going to continue this fuselage back. I mean, I could continue it back as, as far as I wanted to, provided it'll fit on a trailer, I guess 102 inches. I could easily build the entire radio, radio operator compartment. I mean, like I say, the performance of the aircraft construction depends solely on the performance of my YouTube. Encourage your friends, your family, anybody to subscribe to my channel. And you don't have to watch my videos, just let them play in the background. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I am I am here to fund this project. Somebody uh, got a hold of me on YouTube and emailed me a bunch of pictures of the inside of uh, RB36H51730 or 13730. Uh, that's why, why we are here today looking at this. It answered a lot of questions. I've been uh, searching for the answers to these questions for, you know, I've been working on this for three years and pretty much every night when I get done building, I go downstairs and compare my pictures to existing aircraft and look for more pictures of things that, you know, I need or will need. So a big thank you to the, uh, I assume you're a guy. I, it's the year 2024. I don't want to offend anybody, but I thank you very much for getting a hold of me and sending me those pictures. And that goes for the same for anybody. Uh, if you've got pictures of airplanes, military, commercial, and you don't know what to do with them, or you think that nobody would be interested in them, get a hold of somebody, get on a Facebook group, find somebody who's interested in aircraft. Because guys like myself, we we stay up night looking for just one picture of a of a forgotten airplane or a, you know, just to answer a question, but to, to tell the story of that specific airplane. I'm interested in the B-36, of course. Uh, 
the same person who sent me the pictures of the interior also sent me the pictures for this stuff. And I've been looking for two years to, excuse me, to try to find those pictures of that. And uh, it came through and now I know exactly what their shape is gonna be. I know how many they are. there are. I can almost scale them and get the exact distance between all of them. And I can also see, comparing that picture with a uh, earlier Convair production line of the B36 pictures, that there are three canopy mounts. So I'm gonna incorporate those and just, I think one's there, there, and then you skip another one. I'm still researching it and comparing it with other pictures that I have the angles to. But yeah, uh, for me specifically, if you've got any pictures of B36s you don't know what to do with, send them to me, get a hold of me, and I'll get them to the right place because you could have a picture of a B36 that would, you know, keep, oops, keep me up all night. Just absolutely make my day. No, yep, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, coming up in the next week, we are going to be building bulkhead, what is it? Two, 2.1, 2.2. And that will connect with the aft section. And to answer a question, how am I going to get in this thing? It's simple. Like I've said in other videos, this is going to be cut off at 102. So I'm building this just to get the 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 the, um, the rigid form. And once it's all welded, then I'm going to cut it at 102, and then just sleeve it and rivet it. And that's how I'll put it together, because these strips will hold the tops phenomenally well. And that you know accounts for. 75% of the entire thing. Then I'll have the flight deck and the big eight foot beams that are down there. There's four eight foot I beams. And of course the sides will be, they're gonna have two mini bulkheads that are gonna rivet or bolt together. But this whole back section is gonna be on a, uh, a platform like the front is, and it'll be able to roll out and separate. I, I sat here all day long fighting these overhead beams sticking my head up through here and hitting my head and then i realized i could have just slid the bulkhead back and worked on it but you know that's the way my brain works yeah thank you guys for all your comments your likes your subscribes and that obligatory stuff i read thanks for hanging in with me until next time